Hello and welcome to Studio 415. On today's show, you'll get to see a new look to the CHS Sports Livestream. You'll see the Charger Spotlight shine on math teacher Jenna Buran. And you'll hear how some seniors are preparing for life after high school. All of that and more coming up next. And amazing experiences. I mean, we got to go to Lucas Oil Stadium this year. What is it like knowing that students don't want to learn what you teach in some cases? I never would have expected Carol to prepare me as much as it did. Welcome to Studio 415. I'm Tristan Wasserman. And I'm Lennon Ormiston. The IHSAA Champions Network gives Indiana high schools an outlet to produce and stream live sports on one statewide platform. The Charger Sports Network is a part of the platform. In my story, I explain what the Charger Sports Network is, how far it has come, and how it provides sports coverage for the Carroll community. Starting in 2020 with little to no experience, the Charger Sports Network has grown exponentially. The program's creation started from the restrictions placed on in-person attendance, which created a need for live sports coverage for those unable to attend. CHS Athletic Director Dan Ginder explains his inspiration for starting the Charger Sports Network. Well, this was something that had been uh, on my radar of a dream to have done um, for some time and hadn't taken the dive and then COVID hit in 2020 and we weren't allowed to have fans in the stands. So that sort of put a, a priority on let's jump in and see what we can do um, to benefit the families around the area. Um, and, and that's where it all started. The Charger Sports Network, unlike most schools, covers a variety of different sports. From semi-state football games to junior varsity wrestling meets, Carroll's streaming program offers an option for those who can't attend. With average viewership of 300 people per stream, the Charger Sports Network has been a valuable investment. Ginder shares his appreciation for what the Charger Sports Network provides for the community. And obviously that's sometimes kids re-watching the games and um, sometimes it's grandma and grandpa in Florida or uh, people from across the country who family members can't ever see somebody in person. So we feel like we're providing a pretty good service for a lot of different people. The Charger Sports Network has taken a massive leap in production. With pre- and post-game shows, multi-camera setups, and updated graphics, the program has gone from merely filming an event to turning the game into a full sports production. Head play-by-play -play commentator Landon Trailer looks back on how the Charger Sports Network got its start. We started with one ThinkPad laptop, a soundboard, and a little decimator to make everything sound good for us. So uh, the technology has really grown. Uh, the people have grown, obviously. With a large amount of growth already achieved by the Charger Sports Network, the program is hopeful to achieve even more as each athletic season comes along. Both Trailer and Ginder are ecstatic about the program's future development and explain the opportunities and skills that students can develop through the Charger Sports Network. This is a fun experience. This is a, an amazing team, an amazing group, uh, and amazing experiences. I mean, we got to go to Lucas Oil Stadium this year. Uh, we got to go on the field at Lucas Oil Stadium, if I will, if you will. Uh, we got to go to Lafayette Jefferson broadcast regional baseball this year. Um, there's just so many opportunities. Being able to see some of those kids start here at Carroll High School and then go on to um, universities and um, beyond that with starting with skills or real life skills here um, with the things that they've done through the Charger Sports Network. With 538 streams, the Charger Sports Network has done substantial amounts of work for the Charger community. If you're interested in joining, contact Dan Ginder or Landon Trailer. For Studio 415, I'm Lennon Ormiston. Charger Spotlight host Will Jamison sat down with another Carroll teacher to learn more about them. Today, Will puts the spotlight on math teacher Jenna Buran and tries to find out how math will be used after high school. Welcome back to the Charger Spotlight, and on today's episode, we're interviewing your math teacher, Ms. Buran, to ask her some questions about her personal life. All right, well, thank you, Ms. Buran, for joining the Charger Spotlight. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Oh, just amazing. So you are a math teacher, correct? Why would you do this to yourself? Um, I, I really don't know. Do you like math? Oh, I love math. Mm -hmm. um, and I just don't know why I would, you know, mm -hmm. do this to myself. Name three things students will learn in your math class and how they can apply them to the real world. <laughs> Okay, so probably the biggest thing would be quadratics, mm -hmm. so that if anyone ever wanted to shoot off any 
you know, fireworks or whatnot, they could actually figure out where the firework is going to go off. So that's one thing. Okay. Uh, they will also learn some compound interest formulas. So that if they, you know, wanted to learn to save money, that they could figure out the formula okay. for that. Uh, start early. So between you and Jeb, who is the smarter sibling? If you ask Jeb, he would say himself. Um, but I'm asking you. I, I, I know. I would have to actually say it's probably him. Okay. But please don't tell him. I won't tell him that. I know this is going to go on. I heard you like color coordinating. Is that true? Oh, yes. Color coordinating is fun. So what color would be math? Blue. Blue. What is Jeb Campbell's birthday? I don't know. You don't know Jeb's birthday? <laughs> no. Do you have a favorite coworker? That's not Jeb. You can't cheat. Does it count that my mom used to work here and she just retired less than a year ago? She's not a coworker anymore. But, but she was a coworker. But she's not, I'm talking right now. Like, do I have to pick one? Just one. I can't pick one. Why not? I have like two or three that are like tied. Okay, well then name them all. Well then it would be the whole staff. How long have you been teaching? 18 years. Okay. Longer than you've been alive. What should people know about you? I've never left Carol. Okay. Legitimately. Ever? There's no. Where did you go to college? Uh, P, well, IPFW, mm -hmm. which is now PFW. Okay. Well, what year will you run for Congress? Because I'd vote for you. Never. Come on. No. Senator Baron? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play some rock, paper, scissors? Um, we can, but I'm not very good at it. All right, let's just go. Come on. All right, All right I won, guys. Yeah. Great. It's okay. Can you give me your best Morgan Freeman impression? No. Please. I don't have impressions of anyone. Okay. What is it like knowing that students don't want to learn what you teach in some cases? Um, I think that was my motivation for being a math teacher. I was tired of people saying I hate math. And so I just wanted to change that a little bit to maybe like I dislike math or just, uh, so. You were my favorite math teacher. Oh, well, that's sad. <laughs> How many hours of sleep do you get a night? Like five. Mm -hmm. That's what I get. I would like more. You only get five hours of sleep a night? Yeah, I have little people. You have little people? I have little people. All right. Well, thank you for coming on, Miss Baron. It's no been problem. a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Again. You heard here first. Miss Baron has little people in her home, and she doesn't like silence in the classroom. For Studio 415, I'm William Jameson. The senior class is only four months away from graduation and taking the next step in their life journey. In my story, I spoke with a couple of seniors to hear how Carol has prepared them for life after high school. Spring is a time of new beginnings. At the end of every spring, Carroll High School is proud to see a new class of seniors graduate. While they may have started off together in the CFC, the wide variety of pathways offered to the students has led them on separate journeys. For example, senior Carter Happner has been able to get an early start on his career with the internship program. I never would have expected Carol to prepare me as much as it did, but I think that the challenges I face while inside of these courses, preparing me for similar challenges I'm going to be expecting in the real world has been a blessing for me. While many have specific goals in mind after high school, senior Maggie Hopschek is enjoying her time as a senior, taking advantage of the different opportunities she has available. Do everything you possibly can during high school because it goes by so fast and there's things they regret not doing. With all of the options available throughout their high school journey, the choices ahead can be sometimes overwhelming. Student counselor Emily Knurk has helped the seniors through all of their concerns. These questions that we get, we have to field, we have to think on our feet. Um, little, I would guess you'd call them fires pop up throughout the day and the way we think our day is going to go doesn't go that way. Senior year is a time of closing chapters and new beginnings. It is a sign of many paths behind but not forgotten. It's a time to look back and say goodbye one last time. It's kind of a bittersweet moment um, because, like I said, you get to know students after four years, but the natural progression of things is you guys go on and do your thing in life and become who you're going to be. While there are endless possibilities to the pathways our seniors may take to success, we will always remember our time here at Carroll. On behalf of the senior class of 2023, for Studio 415, I'm Tristan Wasserman. As you talk to your friends and flip through the course description guide to select classes for next year, you should consider principles of broadcasting. Studio 415 reporter Zoe Garwood explains the class and the pathway. Whether you are looking to develop your skills in film, editing, and production, or simply fulfill a graduation pathway, 
Carroll High School's Principles of Broadcasting is a great place to start. The class is open to all grades, and with no prior experience necessary, students can learn the fundamentals of digital video production. Writing, filming, and editing, coupled with a vibrant classroom experience, all build the foundation for a wide range of video projects. Students in the class create music videos, commercials, write scripts, and even design sound projects, all while having the opportunity to earn college credit through Ivy Tech. Above all, the class aims to give students the skills necessary to tell visual stories, create diverse projects, and the freedom to be creative during the eight-hour school day. After principles of broadcasting, students can take audio and video production essentials, where they get to work on Carroll High School's state and regional award-winning show, Studio 415. This class gives students the opportunity to tell visual stories for broadcast and also express themselves through other forms of media. Also in the pathway, mass media production gives students independence to pursue more personal and creative projects, such as short films and music videos. Carroll High School's audio video pathway is a great place to make memories, learn something new, and create projects that you are proud of. Course selection guides come out early second semester, so make sure to check off principles of broadcasting to ensure some excitement in your next year's schedule. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. If there's a story you would like us to cover, please let us know. And for all of us here at Studio 415, have a great week, Carol.